Hello everyone, my name's Anne and I work for Coventry Libraries and today I thought I'd have a go at making a family craft activity that hopefully you could have a go at at home and today I thought we'd make a ladybug and he sort of jiggles a bit like this. You could make, so we could make a big ladybug like this one or you could make a little baby ladybug like this one or you could make a whole family if you wanted to okay so to start with we need some paper or some card um, like this any i'm going to use um, just some card from a cereal box and we need some scissors um, you might need an adult to help with cutting we'll need some a glue stick and some sellotape and a pencil and some colouring pens so to start with we need something to make a circle with and depending on how big you want your ladybird to be you can use anything that's round to make your circle so i'm going to use a saucepan lid today but you could use say paper plates or tupperware lids anything really or a, even a set of tape roll so we're going to start, we need three circles. So I'm just going to draw around my pot. And I think I'll just go straight with a marker pen. Okay, so you can see it a bit better. I'm gonna need three circles. So I've got some cutting to do. three circles and we're ready to start making our bug. First of all we're going to draw our bug face. So to do that we need to do a sort of half circle like this for the head and then from the half circle we're going to draw a straight line straight down the middle and then we can draw in our spots like this. If you're a bit nervous about drawing, you can get things to draw around to make your circles, but I'm just going to have a go today. So you could use pennies and things like that. And then we're going to draw some googly eyes on our book. Like this. And we'll give him some middles like that, okay? So that's all done. And now we're ready to colour in. So I'm going to do him a nice red colour and this will take me a little while, so you can use felt tip pens or you could use um, paints or pen colour pencils, crayons, whatever you've got at home. I'm not doing it this very tidily, but you can spend some extra time on the emails. That's all our red coloured in. Now we're going to do our spots.
spotted him. Now I'm going to colour his face in. And there he is all done. So now we're going to make the rocking part of our book. This one I'm making out of card, but you can just make them out of paper. This one's made out of paper. Um, if you haven't got any card around the house. So now what we need to do is take one of our circles and Fold it in half and we want to make a nice strong crease, make sure it's going to crease properly, like this, yep. And now we're going to line up our book, so this is on the bottom. And we're going to glue this into place. So we'll need lots and lots of glue for this. And I have put some paper down to protect my table as well. I don't want a gluey table. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm going to stick our card onto our book and then we're going to finish off with another piece on top like this so at the moment we've got this piece on and we're going to glue this one on top as well It's all glued on together, you can see, like this, and that makes our rocking shape. And now we just need to add in our legs and our antennae. Okay, so for this, if you've got some black card, that would be brilliant to use, and you can just cut out your legs. If not, oh, mine's coming apart. If not, you can just do some colour paper and colour it whatever colour you want. I'm going to do some black. Let's stick our card down to try for it, I think. Okay. On there. So I'm going to use some black. Pens. That one's starting to run out, so we'll try this one. I'm going to colour some black paper in like this. So we'll do some colouring. back as well. Got our black paper. Now we're just going to cut some 
I'm going to cut it straight to make it tidy to start with and then I'm going to cut some strips to make our legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cut straight across to finish our legs off. So we've got lots of legs like this now. Lots of legs. And then we can make some slightly longer strips for our antenna. So we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, five, and six. And then we've got Lastly, we need um, some circles for the top of our antennae. So we'll just draw around anything you've got to hand, or you could just do these freestyle. Let's see. Again, I'm just going to colour these in. as well. Oh, so now I'm going to cut them out as well. And they don't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that. Just going to stick our legs and antennae on. Stick this on. Oh. Like this. I've got one. One more. I've got one too. Antenna. Hopefully our card is stuck a bit and I think it has, good. Okay, and we can stick our boogie antenna into place. So one here with this and
And so I've stuck my legs on one here and then underneath here to make his legs. I'm going to do the other side. <coughs> Now we've got our book finished up. There he is, giving a wiggle. So once you've got the hang of making your books, you can let your imagination run right. So I've made a, a rainbow book like this one. You could have a go at this. Or I've made a nice blue book because that makes me think of Coventry. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed our craft today and I hope you have a go. And bye for now and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.